So a few nights ago, I was able to try out the Mighty Mount for the first time. And because the Mighty Mount has a very wide opening for the uh, dust plate, everything we had at home were, was too small um, because they're all regular sized dovetails. So a telescope came with the mount with the correct dovetail so we could actually use the mount. It is a Takahashi Epsilon 180. So this is a pretty crazy scope. It's known to be one of the best uh, reflector telescopes out there. It's um, f2.8, which is very, very fast. And uh, yeah, so we were able to try out this telescope um, with the mount, so both for the first time together. I drove to a bottle one slash bottle two zone with uh, the mount and scope and chose to image the Rosette Nebula. And everything went well, um, but um, something bad happened. As you can see here on this shot, in the bottom left corner, you can see elongated stars. This is because the telescope was not collimated right. Now, you're gonna ask me, why don't you collimate it right? I mean, it's super easy, right? Like, you already have an astrograph which you collimate every single time. So why didn't you collimate this one right? Well, first of all, I don't have the manual. I don't have any collimation tool that fits um, the scope. And the specific, you know, the Epsilon scopes are known to be extremely well built and can hold collimation for months, even years sometimes, even if you're driving around with it. Here, sadly, we received the scope, because this was a loaner, it was not brand new out of the factory. Um, we received it, and sadly, I guess, the timing was bad for us because the, the collimation is off. And these scopes are extremely difficult to collimate. Um, oh, by the way, here is the, uh, it's about one hour on the HA filter, then here is one hour on the O3 filter, and here is one hour on the S2 filter. So, luckily I have a friend in Vegas, uh, his name is Jorge, thank you again so much. I went to his house because he loves to just, you know, try things out and he has a bunch of adapters and stuff. So I went to his house, we spent hours and hours trying to collimate the Takahashi. Oh, it's not Got the it's, a, for it. it's a bit off. Sally, no. It's time for surgery on the space banana. <laughs> <laughs> We tried everything we could. So we're going to try to see if we can see a star using a homemade method. So what else over there? Just two holes? Oh, that's an artificial star. So close. We thought we had it right, so I went back home. By the way, the telescope is super heavy, so it was a huge pain to carry. And it was still off. Same issue, still off. So. I felt really sad. At this point, I I was tempted to just send it back and be like, you know what, I don't want to spend hours on this. After a good night's sleep, I woke up, spent hours on it trying to uh, to fix it. I spent literally like the whole morning on, on cloudy nights and other forums trying to read on how to collimate the uh, Takahashi correctly. and. Uh, I went back to Jorge's house and we tried a different method this time. We tried using a laser collimator, which is what I use for my for my astrograph, but this time we were like, you know what? We already tried the, uh, the difficult method. Let's just try the, the simple method and see if it works. Looks pretty centered to me. After months of trying to collimate. <laughs> <laughs> and we run more tests which seemed fine at first. Um, it's time to see if it's collimated. We're gonna wait for dark and see on the DSLR screen, which is dead, I have no battery. Okay, great, Never mind. I went back home, tried 
tried my own tests here uh, on the uh, the Pleiades and um, the the stalls looked better but it still had an issue um, not only with collimation but also a bit of tilt I think because on one side of the uh, the image the stars look very very focused on the other side they look a bit out of focus and uh, so we kind of fixed the collimation somehow but at the same time now there was a bit of tilt so it was a, a huge pain I mean I'm going to send it back uh, I'm glad I got the image of the Rosette Nebula even though I'm not super happy with it all this to say that I'm really very really thankful that I was able to try out a, a telescope that was almost $4,000 and I was super happy and super grateful, but you know, I, I can't just spend days and nights and, and weeks trying to figure this out and and yeah, so I still loved this telescope. I think it's perfect for us. I mean, it's a fast reflector, which is what we love so much, but I just wish that collimation issues and tilt and you know, I'm planning to go back to the uh, the cheap astrograph for for this uh, spring season for galaxies. So anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys next time and uh, clear skies.